Uh, my name is Tony Burton. I work for Treasury as um, Deputy Chief Economic Advisor. But the work we're doing here is a piece of work where we've Try to understand um, external to the work I'm doing in Treasury. Try to understand um, where the best place, where the best place to put the money and the resources is to help children. Um, so throughout the world, and including New Zealand, one of the most influential people has been um, an American economist called Heckman, who's done some work, uh, who's tried to convert some of the um, very powerful empirical work which shows some of the, the, the how early childhood can have a huge impact on the whole life course. And to try to interpret that into advice around where you would put the investment, um, usually from government, but it could be from a wider range of organisations. And broadly, he's, he's been saying we should do more for uh, early childhood and probably do less um, for people who are youths or, or young adults. And the work we did was just testing that, just seeing where, um, when you look at real interventions, where the big differences were made. And the, the headline is, we can't find any effect due to age. Um, and there's a couple of things that come out of that. Uh, one thing that comes out of that is um, that there can be very good ethical reasons for investing in young children. Um, that and the nothing that we do in our research changes that at all. Right? Where it does make a difference is if you're looking for the sort of big differences, the, the greatest bang for your buck, um, what we're suggesting is that actually you shouldn't think that there's some point or, or where that stops, where you stop getting benefits from the investment. It seems to, from the work we're doing, seems to work all the way through, um, through to young adult and indeed uh, throughout adulthood as well. Um, and the, I think that the second thing for our, from our perspective, I think the big lesson perhaps for social sector providers is to think about, given that there is such strong evidence that um, early childhood matters so much, why is it that for whatever reasons we haven't managed to have that kind of impact from the kind of interventions that uh, we have at the moment? So we're not observing that, that really big change relative to the, the, the level of intervention. Some of this um, is around the economics of this, thinking about when uh, j just because something has a big difference, it doesn't mean that um, it's necessarily cost effective, right? So that um, often, for instance, if you do things at a very young age, you'll be doing interventions for people who are perhaps not going to suffer the, the, the level of disadvantage because the way that you're targeting is particularly accurate. So that's, that's one of the reasons. The more, in many ways, the more interesting one is that um, if you think about targeting and the mechanisms you'd have for targeting and the way that we as a society value privacy and our feelings on human rights and uh, when it is and isn't appropriate to, to, to uh, intervene from government, this is going to be an important impediment to um, when we can and can't um, help children within families. Um, and there's a kind of bigger debate to be had around uh, the balance of that. But in terms of the, the research, it suggests that, that this, sorry, that's just one explanation for why we would be observing, we're not observing the kind of effects that Heckman would, uh, would expect. Um, and I think probably just to finish, uh, the, the, the flip side of this is that um, we shouldn't be thinking about this as something where once uh, the child has become a youth, the youth has become an adult, that um, there's nothing that we can do. That there's no reason at all from this evidence that um, we, sh we should think that we need to stop because we're not going to make a difference. The evidence seems pretty clear that we can very effectively make a difference throughout the life of, um, throughout the life of a person. What matters is how we do it and how well we do it.